invite you to share in a service of word and prayer for Advent called Holy Darkness. We will look at themes. Darkness is holy. Darkness is beautiful. Darkness holds promise. Darkness holds God. In Sundays and Seasons, the writers wrote, we are a people of the word. We encounter the living God in the incarnate word, Jesus Christ, in the word proclaimed in preaching and declared in forgiveness, and in the written word of scripture that holds before us the unfolding story of God's matchless grace. In practice, this often means we're also a people of many words. There are times, however, when we may be nourished by simpler fare, when the words spoken aloud are few, and the silence surrounding them calls forth the prayer of those gathered in worship. Such is the sacred space of contemplation intended by our worship together. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding, the love of Christ that guards our hearts and minds, and the joy and consolation of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O God, to prepare a pathway for your Christ. By his coming, speak peace to your people and turn our hearts toward you, that your saving grace and splendid glory may dwell in all the earth through Jesus Christ, whose day draws near. Amen. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, Bring us your light. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us. Bring us your light. The scripture reading for this evening comes from the Song of Solomon in the first chapter. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine. Your anointing oils are fragrant. Your name is perfume poured out. Therefore the maidens love you. Draw me after you. Let us make haste. The king has brought me into his chambers. We will exalt and rejoice in you. We will extol your love more than wine. Rightly do they love you. I am black and beautiful, O daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Solomon. Do not gaze at me because I am dark, because the sun has gazed on me. Darkness is beautiful. In photography, there is an artistry in the use of shadow and light, or darkness and light. The interplay creates mood and depth and interest. On a dark night, there can be a silence, a quietude that calms us as we stare up at the stars and the moon and the planets, as we listen to the crickets and cicadas, or watch the fireflies dance through the grass and trees. Darkness is beautiful. Sometimes, though, we are afraid of the dark. We can feel disoriented when we cannot see or find our way. Sometimes we tell stories of things that go bump in the night that make us wary of darkness. Long ago, it was thought that the air at night was bad, was unhealthy, could harm you or make you ill. Night and dark were associated with evil. The chaos of darkness has long been associated with danger. As we noted last week in the creation story, 
Many times we might have made the connection that in scattering the darkness with light, God was somehow cursing the darkness. But we heard that darkness is holy. Darkness and light are held in complementary positions, even in the goodness of God's creation. What happens then if we only associate darkness with that which is threatening or bad or dangerous or evil or chaotic? It could make us generalize those associations and broaden them to include assumptions about other things that are dark or even our brothers and sisters who are dark. In the Song of Solomon, we hear within these few poetic verses that darkness, blackness, is beautiful. Hear a refrain from a popular hymn for the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, which identifies the woman in Song of Solomon as the Virgin Mary. O Mother dark and lovely, hear the poor who come with their song. Lead them into Jesus' kingdom, where they truly do belong. In every culture, we make Jesus in our image, European, Asian, Central American, African. Notice the features of Jesus in these various renditions, some from early Byzantine time, others from contemporary Chinese artist He Chi. Darkness is beautiful. God meets us in the darkness, in the silence, in the night, and in the day. As we hear in Psalm 139, For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. My body was not hidden from you while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. God who formed us in the depth of our mother's womb, who formed us in the darkness. Help us to come to see and know the beauty of darkness. Let us pray. In Christ Jesus, we meet the God who knows our weakness and bears the wounds of the world. Therefore, let us be bold as we pray trusting that God draws near to those in any kind of need. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. O Lord, support us all the day long of this troubled life, until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. For the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then in your mercy grant us safe lodging, and a holy rest, and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, the hours of both day and night are yours, and to you the darkness is no threat. Be present, we pray, with those who labor in these hours of night especially those who watch and work on behalf of others. Grant them diligence in their watching, faithfulness in their service, courage in despair and danger, and competence in emergency. Help them to meet the needs of others with confidence and compassion. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, comfort the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. In your mercy receive our prayers and by your power hasten the day when peace and justice kiss, and steadfast love and faithfulness meet for the sake of the world you love. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, we pray as Jesus taught us. 
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, through Christ Jesus, for whom we wait. Amen.